celebrate about this day or any day, I wish every day would be this way, is the fact that it is a day when persons um, celebrate love. And love is something that should be celebrated every day, every minute of every second of every hour of every day. Because that is the way that God loves us. And I just think that it is it is just it's just something that we should always keep in mind. We shouldn't take one day out of the year to celebrate the persons that we love. We should celebrate them every day. So this morning I'm going to read from the book of First Corinthians um verse thirteen, uh four through seven. And it's this this particular verse Everyone, I mean, most people have, have heard it before. It is the only time that God has gone in depth and given you a description of what love is. And if you ever, if you haven't read it, or even if you have read it, I encourage you to go back to this verse and read it from the beginning and pray before you read it and ask God to show you exactly what he was referring to. Because the clarity behind it, it'll, it'll, it'll make so much sense. But in any event, let me just read um, 1 Corinthians 13, 4 and 7 says, Love is patient and kind. Love is, je love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and it keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up. Love, love never loses faith, is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. Now, the way that I know this verse is love is patient, love is kind, it does not brag, it does not boast, it does not insist on its own way, it is not irritable, <laughs> and it keeps no record of wrongdoings. And, you know, this understanding this, understanding this, especially in a relationship with your significant other, in a relationship with your children, in a relationship with your creator is so important because it leaves you with what I call a little bit of wiggle room, right? Because love is, the, the, you see how God described this was the first two things he said about love is that love is patient and love is kind. You know, kindness and patience go hand in hand. You know, where if, you, if you've never stopped to think about it, like you, you have to think about it like this. When you, like, if you're always anxious and you're always in a rush, right? You're very easily annoyed. When you're easily annoyed, you're easily turned off. Your body sh um, starts to go into an autopilot and automatically shuts itself down. And that, shut, that, that, that way of shutting itself down could be so that you don't get angry. That could be so that you know, you kind of block out that person. And both of those characteristics that, I mean, what would be the outcome of you being anxious and not patient is for you to almost do the opposite of love, you know? And then the second thing is, what it, I mean, the other part of that is, is, is patient and kind. You know, being kind is so important when you love persons, you know, like because one of the ways that we show love as humans to each other is by being kind. You know, and that doesn't just mean giving gifts, you know, it's about the way that you treat somebody. It's about the way that you talk to somebody. It's about the compassion that's in your voice. It's about waking up and, and telling this person that morning, you know, or, or, or I love you or have a good day, you know, and meaning it wholeheartedly. You know, all of these are characteristics of love. And what he goes on to tell us is that, you know, love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude and it doesn't insist on its own way and that's true you know like the way that you love me is not the way that i can love you you know like love has similar characteristics but you cannot insist on how love is like you you don't know what love is like when i say that i mean that you you cannot just pop up and say like i know exactly when i fell in love with this person this moment the second this no, like you don't even know. Like you just know one one day you looked at that person and knew that that person was somebody that you didn't want to lose. You just looked at them and knew that, hey, this is someone that I want to spend forever with or this is someone that I really care about, you know? And just to, to, to run through this first a little bit quicker, you know, um, it doesn't keep record of wrongdoings. 
and it doesn't rejoice in injustice. And, and, and all of this is just basically telling, you know, when you love somebody, you know, you want what's best for them. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't celebrate when something happens to them and, and you don't celebrate if they even do something wrong, you correct them, you know, you, 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 and, but at the same time, in your method of correction, you don't hold that against them. You don't use that as ammunition for later down in your relationship. And think about everything that I said just now, because I don't want to speak too much longer, but think about what I said just now. Is that exactly what you expect and want from God? Don't you want God to be patient and kind with you? Don't you want God to correct you when you were wrong, but don't keep a record of it? You know? So I think this is why I said this verse is so important. This verse not only is God telling us how to love, it tells us how God loves us, which is something that we need to remember so that we could reflect that as we were made in his image. And remember, Christ died for our sins and he came and he asked us for a favor. He asked us for one thing. He said to love God and love each other. So thank you, everyone, for giving me the opportunity to not only speak to you, but to love you this morning and to pour into you with whatever it was that God poured into my spirit. Have a blessed day, and I love each and every one of you.